You're watching We the People with Gloria Allred. Pete Henderson is suing concert promoter Naomi Bridges in the amount of $5,000 after he says she did a poor job of promoting a concert where he was set to perform. And Mr. Henderson, you may begin. Why are you here in court? Well, Your Honor, I'm here in court suing Naomi Bridges for $5,000 for breach of contract. She was supposed to promote a concert and she fell through. Is that true, Ms. Bridges? Did you undertake to promote a concert for Mr. Henderson? Yes, Your Honor, I did. And what happened? Did you promote it? Yes, ma'am, I did. Well, then, he said you fell through. That's not so. All right, let me find out from Mr. Henderson. What did she promise to do? And what did she fail to do from your point of view? Well, Your Honor, my name is Pete Henderson, and I'm the front man of a band called Pete Henderson and the Hillbillies. Now, we're not a great big band or anything, relatively mm -hmm. small band, but in the area that we're from, we, we can fill a house, we can pack a house. Well, I met the filly here, uh, Miss uh, Bridges. And she you come met up what here? The little filly, Miss Bridges. I uh, object. Little, wait a second, a little filly is well, a, is a horse, express. right? Well, she ain't She really looks right. like a human being to me, so what's with this little filly nonsense? Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm assuming Your Honor. you're not talking about Philadelphia. No, Your Honor, I apologize. Talking about her as a little horse. <laughs> All right, rewind and start again and address her with the appropriate respect. Yes, Thank Your you, Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Well, Miss Bridges come to me asking if she could promote this uh, concert. She promised that she was going to promote the show. Which I did. You did not promote the show. All right, you'll have a chance, Ms. Bridges. Well, would that be, if the concert mm -hmm. took place, it then you were going time. to get paid. It would so be for my time. I mean, if she has rented my time and she has, she has hired me for my time to be in this venue, I was there for the venue. I was there for the show, ma'am. Okay, I'm I just trying it. to understand what your agreement was. What was the agreement about what you would be paid if you were agreeing that Ms. Bridges could promote your concert? That'd be $2,500, ma'am. You would be paid $2,500. $2,500, ma'am. And that's what you expected to get, no matter how many people came to the concert. Absolutely, ma'am. Is that right? All right? And is that your understanding, Ms. Bridges? Was that the understanding of the agreement? I'm not talking about what happened afterwards. That was the understanding. Thank you. Now, what happened, Mr. Henderson? Well, she canceled the show. No Why reason did at all. she cancel the show, as far as you know? And I'll give her an opportunity to explain. Well, she had a couple of excuses for canceling the show. First excuse was that there wasn't enough ticket sales. I think there wasn't enough ticket sales because she didn't promote the show. You got to do more than just put a couple of posters up on a couple of telephone poles and put something up on your Facebook page. All right, and what was the other reason? <laughs> the other uh, reason was because I was booked on a television show for the same time as the concert. This is where I believe that her lack of experience as a promoter came in. The I'm show vexed. was pre-recorded. Right? We, we, we pre-recorded the show earlier that day. We can show the, the television show that night while I'm doing the concert. All in right. fact, it works out very well because while I'm doing the concert, for those who can't show up to see the concert, they can see me on television. And coming up... What were the reasons you canceled the concert? Sales were extremely low. There oh, was no oh, way... Don't that interrupt her, Mr. Henderson, please. You're watching We the People with Gloria Allred. 